Well, one thing Stephen Harper did talk about today was job numbers. 82,000 jobs were created in this country last month. So is it the start of a trend or just a blip? Habert Gould has that story for us tonight. Habert. Peter, it's a spring surprise for a country that endured a pretty dreary winter on the jobs front. No one saw this coming. An all-out hiring spree with tens of thousands of full-time jobs. Many in hard-hit Quebec and Ontario. Even the manufacturing sector bouncing back. This window company eager to expand. Right now we're hiding. Right now we're looking for people, hire more people. The timing couldn't be better. Companies showing signs they are finally willing to spend and hire, just as governments are starting to cut both budgets and people. In fact, in the month of March, the majority of gains were in the private sector. Um, so this is providing some offset to anticipated weakening um, in terms of the public sector. Prime Minister Stephen Harper made the most of the moment, asked about fighter jets in question period, he worked jobs into his answer. I know, Mr. Speaker, I'm surprised the member didn't ask me about this. I know, Mr. Speaker, that the uh, Canadian economy now has created almost 700,000 new jobs. But what if March was a flashy one-month wonder? Canada's employment reports are notoriously volatile. At this job fair, some see a shift that is sticking. They're seeing it right across the country growth, and we're seeing many more um, employers looking for more people at this time that I, we did six months ago. Job seekers seemed optimistic. Hopefully I do get a chance to be part of that labor market soon. The labor shortage in parts of the West continues. But today we found a construction company adding all kinds of perks in an attempt to get and keep enough workers in Ontario. There's company bonuses, performance plans, max RSPs. Then there's all the fun stuff, like we just got back from Cancun, we do fishing trips, we do golf tournaments. That's the kind of talk you hear when an economy heats up. And after today's surprise, every signal will get extra scrutiny to determine whether this is indeed a trend or a blip. Peter? All right, Habert, thanks very much. Habert Gould in Toronto.